friends welcome to my channel neurology videos learn by seeing in today's case there is a 17 year old boy who presented to us with the three episodes of loss of vision in the right eye in the past in each episode he had painful loss of painful moment of the right eye followed by decrease in the vision which lasted for one to two weeks improved after giving the pulse therapy with methyl bread followed by oral steroid each time he had complete recovery last time six months back his mri was done mri brain was normal and mri orbit showed optic neuritis now this time he presented with pain in the neck which increased on movement of the neck with hypersensitive area which was present near the nipples and the costal margin he said he feel as if he uh, is wearing clothes over a sore area that is he was having a hypersensitive area in this area uh, area uh, from nipple to the costal margin now for the last 15 days he was having painful retention of the urine so he was catheterized so what do you interpret from this history the interpretation is that a patient a young patient presenting with the three episodes of optic neuritis which is a unilateral optic neuritis which uh, has complete recovery complete recovery now presenting with myelopathy so what is the differential diagnosis differential diagnosis first time first thing which comes in your mind is the demyelinating illness in demyelinating illness whether it is ms whether it is nmo whether it is nmost so first possibility you how will you differentiate in this patient ms can it be ms for ms the optic neuritis patient has optic neuritis but he doesn't have other he has optic neuritis he has spinal cord involvement but but other lesions in the brain are not there his mri brain was normal in spite of having three attacks of optic neuritis his uh, mri brain is normal there are no uh, other lesions which is very unlikely for ms okay so for nmo second possibility is nmo for nmo what is odd in nmo optic neuritis is there but it is bilateral it is very severe and complete recovery is odd for nmo but in nmo patient having optic neuritis with with myelopathy it goes in favor with mri brain normal brain sparing it goes in favor of nmo so either this patient has nmo or either he has nmo st so how will you work up this patient what will you do in this patient you will do vps because first of all you will get the complete eye examination in this patient you will get the fundus of the patient you will get whether it is normal what is the visual acuity you will get the vps and then you will repeat the you will get the mri of the patient mri c spine to mri thoracic spine okay if the patient has a long segment myelitis what is long segment myelitis that is involvement of the more than more than or equal to three segments that shows that patient has an uh, neuromyelitis optica then what are the other tests anti nmo anti nmo or anti mog anti nmo anti mog antibody has to be done you can do the csf or ocp csf ocps if it comes out to be negative then it rules out ms then it goes in favor of nmo so these are the various investigation mri c spine dorsal spine vps ocps and if the patient comes out to be nmo you have to rule out the secondary nmo causes like endocrine causes and the autoimmune causes for the nmo so this was a little short case presentation of demyelinating illness